Gotta start up this video right. Now I played that song in one of my videos before and um, a couple of people were very judgy. And you know what I have to say to that? Hello! So today I am headed off to a medieval fair and it just so happens that I just got these babies in the mail. So I thought what a better occasion to evolve into my final form than this. Now, it seems to me female hobbits are pretty much very natural makeup. I recently did a look inspired by Anne of Green Gables, which I think I will kind of base this off of. Very natural, a few freckles, and then of course my hobbit ears, and then I'll do my hair. Oh, I forgot to wet this. Gotta wet my sponge, be right back. That did not sound right. <laughs> So first I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. I happen to use Tarte Amazonian Clay. Use whatever you usually use. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm not sure if anyone else at this Ren Fair will be in costume, but you know. So I went four years ago and from across the crowd, I can see someone in an Ezio outfit. Then he disappeared. Me and my friend searched for him the entire time we were there, and he literally vanished into the crowd. The whole time we were running around going, Assassino! Assassino! And uh, to this day, I'm still convinced he was an actual assassin. So next, we're gonna get these eyebrows a little bit shaped up, but not too much because, again, hobbits are quite natural, so they're not gonna have, you know, those perfectly shaped brows. Many of you know the infamous tiny little brow pencil. Yes, it's still here. Yes, it's still alive. So I'm just making that transition a little easier. I probably don't have to do this, but I'm so used to it that I just, I still do it. I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil in medium brown. Go in and define and shade those brows a little bit more. And then finally, I know I have very many steps in doing my eyebrows, but I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. And I'm just gonna kind of rough up those eyebrows while also shaping them, if that makes sense. Those are thick. That'll do, pig. Next up, I'm just gonna go in with my mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. But again, it doesn't really matter what kind of mascara you use. So this Ren Fair has actual jousting, and it's really freaking cool because it's a whole jousting field arena, and then they have all the seats where the king sits and his loyal subjects, and they watch and they have like a tournament. So during the day, you come back for the different rounds. And uh, me and Nick have been watching a lot of Merlin, so. You know, if I want one specific person to win, I'll just sit on the sideline and go <laughs> pull some sort of magic and help them, right? Sorry to anyone who doesn't watch Merlin, that made no sense to you. So I probably should have done this before I put the mascara on, but I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Fun fact, that song concerning hobbits actually makes me very emotional. I feel very emotionally attached to the Shire. So whenever I hear the song of when you are first introduced to the Shire and the hobbits, I get a little verklempt. And I also played that song at my wedding for all my bridesmaids to walk down the aisle to. Hey Google, play concerning hobbits. Next up, I'm gonna go and do some kind of natural eyeshadow. So I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate eyeshadow palette in Warm Neutrals, which is really nice for more natural looks. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just do a quick light brown base. And I'm gonna go in under the eyes too.
And then I'm gonna take a darker brown, do the same thing. And just darken up the outer corners. And then I'm gonna go in with this color right here, just in the inner corners, to brighten it up a little bit. So next up, we're gonna do the freckles. So I'm gonna take the two products I used before, the pomade and the eyebrow pencil, and I'm gonna go in with the lighter pencil first and just sporadically make dots. Try not to make them too uniform. And I wanna make them a little bit more concentrated on the nose. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker pomade and just kind of darken a few of them, make a few of them a little bigger. So for my lips, I'm actually gonna do a mix. Uh, this is not necessary, but Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Color in Timeless Rose, just to add a little bit of pink in there. Right now, if I were just to go like that, the freckles would be pretty much gone. So setting spray will help with that, keep them on all day. I hate this part, okay. Ugh. All right, now for the hair. I had my hair curled yesterday and then I put them back in rollers at like 11 p.m. last night. So there is a very high chance that these are not even dry yet. And if you're looking at this like, what the heck? I have a foam rollers video that would explain all of it. Now normally I would brush this out and kind of do a vintage set with it, but because hobbits have very curly natural hair, I'm just gonna try to see what it looks like if I just separate these all. And then for the bangs, kind of create a faux bang and then pinning them up at the top. I'm gonna take a section, try to roll it so it's a little pretty, and then pin it back. All right, I'm gonna say that's good for now. We'll come back to this after the ears, but I am dying to put these babies on. So these ears are from Madhouse FX Studios. Just looking at them really quick, they obviously don't match my skin because these are just pure latex. So I'm gonna go in with this palette again, warm it up a little bit using mixes of eyeshadows, especially the tips. I want to make a little bit pink. All right, so we are going to take a little bit of spirit gum. Ooh, that's nice. Got some beard hair in there. Don't worry about it. On my ear as well, just to help. You're gonna wait till the spear gum gets tacky. Yes! <laughs> it's so cute. Oh! Now, this is not a professional SFX makeup application, so. Obviously the edges are gonna be very visible, but what you can do is kind of cheat that a little bit And just bring some hair in front I'm a hobby beach. I'm gonna cry. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat that for the next one <laughs> I'm so happy uh, I also forgot to put blush on, so I'm just gonna put my cheap old blush on my cheeks and on the tip of my nose. And then finally, I'm just gonna put a little bit of NYX's Born to Glow highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten those up a little bit. And there you go. 
My final form. <laughs> So that is it. I'm a hobbit and I'm so happy. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm thinking of doing a whole how to dress like a hobbit video. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. I'm gonna go live out my dreams. Anyways, I love you guys so very much whether you're new or old to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Photo, stop licking yourself. Um, which I think will, which I think will, which I think will, no. <laughs>